Alright, this is going to be a video of this 42 inch Banville brand ceiling fan I got at the Habitat Restore. I got it because I volunteer there and what I do for them is refurbish ceiling fans you receive by donation and make them more sellable and run better than how they originally came in. The antique brass version of this fan, which you see in the video, uh, is not really all that common because this is the first one I've ever seen. Uh, you usually see the polished brass ones instead and on occasion the white and polished brass ones. Without any further ado, I will demonstrate the fan, but first show the light kit. As you can see this works and I'm using four 40 watt equivalent and you're assuming compact fluorescent bulbs in here. I'll turn that off. Now turn the fan on and begin with the high speed. I did actually put a white piece of tape on one of the blade brackets for RPM indication. And once this fully speeds up, it's probably going to go around 230. It is quite a fast little fan and also pushes a really good amount of air, especially after I pitch the blades more to increase performance. Another thing is it hardly makes a sound when it runs. There is a very slight bearing noise, but that is quite minor. It's actually hardly noticeable. medium speed. This is going to slow down to about 185. And last but not least, low speed. Just show the fan and light on running at the same time. This is probably going to go about 95 to 100 rpm. It's a bit of a fast low speed but I personally don't mind that too much. Turn everything off. Stop the blades here and I'm going to talk about some general information on it. The light kit you see here uh, is original to the fan. I did not add it on. I'm actually debating whether it's a Banville light kit in the first place because as you can see the antique brass on it is not quite the same as on the fan. It's a little bit more dull and not quite as rich of a finish. Um, there's absolutely no marking of a manufacturer on the light kit, so I don't know who made it. Uh, the wiring does seem to match up to Banville's, but just really not quite sure. Another thing regarding the light kit is it did come with energy saving compact fluorescent bulbs, except not these ones. The ones that it provided, I actually decided to keep because they were pretty nice bulbs, at least I thought. Now I'm going to be uh, touching on some pros and cons of the fan, what I'd rank it out of five stars. First of all, these are really well made metal parts, uh, are extremely thick and high quality, much better than the uh, Walmart crap that you find today. Uh, the blades are also reversible, one side is cane, the other side is just plain teak wood. I actually uh, like the teak a little bit better on the antique brass version in particular, because I think it uh, kind of gives it more of a log cabin theme if you will, especially um, that's not medium oak, it's teak instead. I think that is uh, very nice with the antique brass. And they are quite versatile because you can pretty much add any like it to it as long as the wiring matches up. Uh, so that is quite nice. What I don't like, however, is they are down rod mount only. There really is no way to flush mount these fans. Um, just pretty much only down rod. So for really low ceilings, they probably wouldn't work. And also the lead wires are only about uh, 24 inches. So uh, even for really high ceilings, these wouldn't work too well either. Overall, they're really well-made fans. I really love these. Uh, so overall, ranking would probably have to be around four stars. It looks especially good with the teak side of the blades facing down. And even though this light kit is kind of big, you'd probably expect to see this more in a 52-inch fan as opposed to a 42. Surprisingly, it does seem to flow fairly well, all things considered, even though the finish isn't 100% match. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, there was an exact model for these, because uh, it does not seem to be indicated anywhere on the fan, I would uh, like to know, so please leave a comment down in the comment box below. Again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and there's lots more to come.